Pisces, thanks for visiting. This is your weekly reading for February the 12th to February the 18th. And if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment, as I always, always, always say. And I've shuffled, everything's ready, so let's start your reading for Aries. So the first card you have in your past is um, the Three of Pentacles. Um, what I'm seeing here is that, um, yes, you're feeling really bothered, really um, even pestered, pestered. I'm feeling this pestering. Um, and this is by two people. I'm seeing two people together, actually. So there could be about, um, this could be about a couple, um, or it could be about um, two people who are close friends or something like that. But I'm seeing um, two against one. I keep on seeing two against one two people against one and you know if you look at this card you can see two on one side and one on the other side two against one and um yes they could have tried to bring other people into this as well into this um kind of um you know trying to get people on side against you or something like that and you know you're trying they were trying to get you to see um their way they're trying to get you to do something they wanted i'm definitely seeing two against one i keep on seeing this two against one and you know they pushed they pushed and pushed you but as they kept on pushing you i'm seeing that um it, it actually just made you more determined not to give in to them which is what i'm like as well that's exactly what aries are like i will not the more you push and push and push there's no way I'm going to give in. I'm very stubborn. <laughs> um, so yes, they, that's what could have happened. Um, and yeah, I'm just seeing you so determined because they're irritating you more and more as you used all these different tactics, bringing people in, trying to you know get get everyone on one side and trying to gang up on you. And this just made you more determined not to go ahead with what they wanted. And so you could have even distanced yourself from these people or cut them off or something like that because enough is enough. You had enough of these people. That's what I'm seeing. Yes, um, so the next card you have for your past is, yes, the devil. Um, yes, these people, I'm seeing these people again in this. Um, yes, they weren't actually bullies, but it felt like, it felt like they were bullying you. It really did feel like that. Um, this was a really stressful time. I'm really feeling this stress around this. And um, yeah, they could have even been in contact with someone else, someone you're not speaking to, trying to get into contact with this person to get them on side as well, or something like that, someone you're not in contact with. Um, I hope this makes sense. I'm just seeing a really complex situation. Um, yeah, it's like they tried to involve someone else who was, you know, the absolute last, last, last person you wanted to see. Maybe you're not speaking to this person anymore. Maybe they're an ex. Maybe there's someone like that. You just do not want to be, have this person dragged in, or you didn't at this time. But that's what they did. They tried to drag in as many people as possible. So they are like bullies. That's what they're like. I'm seeing they're bullies, or they were bullies. Um, they, were like, they were trying to make you feel obliged to do something. They were, it could have been family. It could have been family, actually. Um, but yes, you were determined to get away from them. You were determined not to go along with what they wanted. That's what I'm seeing. Um, the last card you have your past is the Knight of Cups. Okay, so for single people, um, yes, people who are looking for a relationship, um, there was someone around you who, this person was really interested in you, but I'm not seeing that much interest coming from you. Um, I'm just seeing this disinterest. What I'm seeing is that you're turning your shoulder away from them. It's like the cold shoulder. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. You don't dislike them. Um, but, you know, you're just not interested in that way with this person. So I'm seeing this person could have been texting you, maybe communicating um, in that way or um, social media, something like that. Because I'm seeing electronic communication. I'm not seeing them actually speaking to you. But they were trying. They were really trying to speak to you. And, you know, this person also could be younger than you, or maybe they're a bit young in their ways, or childlike, or something like that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this person. I like childlike people. <laughs> but you have, you know, you have some fears around... You really fear, you really fear relationships. That's what I'm seeing, I'm sorry. Um, you have a fear of opening up to other people, and that might be what this is. It might not be anything to do with this person. You just have this fear. You have this fear around relationships. Yeah, I'm sorry, that's what I'm seeing. You don't like opening up to people. So yes, the first card you have for your present is the Five of Wands. Um, yes, I'm still seeing these two people um, in the Three of Pentacles. I keep on seeing them, so they're there in your present as well. And they still want you to comply with them. They still want you to do whatever they want. One of these people's definitely really controlling. And you know, again, I keep on seeing um, 
I, I keep on saying they're trying to get people on their side all the time. They're trying to, you know, get people, uh, yeah, get people against you. It's something like that, or get lots of numbers behind them, something like that. Um, I hope that makes sense. But I'm seeing also that you're thinking, or you, you're, you're thinking, grow up. <laughs> and uh, I, I am. I'm seeing this grow up. You just want these people to grow up. And you just want them to leave you alone. And you know, you are actually physically away from these people, but you're still thinking about them. And because they're getting all of these other people trying to get them alongside, it's really bothering you. Um, you know, they're still spreading this drama I'm seeing. There's this drama being sp spread around by these people. And not around you, you're away from them. I am seeing you're away from them. You might have even blocked them or something like that. But I'm seeing one of them is actually. Um, dominating the other one. There's one leader and there's one follower in these two people, if that makes sense. And the next card you have here present is Temperance. So, yes, you're working together with someone. You're working together with someone. Um, this is a partnership, but it's an unlikely partnership I'm seeing. This is someone um, you wouldn't normally work with, or maybe you wouldn't even normally talk to this person. I'm not saying you don't talk to people and you're snooty and you say, oh, I wouldn't talk to that person. It's not like that. It's just like, you know, this is a kind of person who maybe is very different to um, some people around you in some way. Maybe they have a different outlook. Maybe you just wouldn't normally come across someone like that. But, you know, you have. You've come across this person and you're working with this person who's very different um, from you. Um, you are you are coming to, excuse that siren, um, you are coming together to achieve something. I hate that because I can never concentrate properly. Go away. Um, yeah, you have... Yeah, you have goals. You're, you're working towards something together. That's what I'm saying. You've got this goal that you're working toward with this person. And yes, you, you've settled into some friendship with someone as well, I'm seeing. Because I'm seeing this settledness, this kind of great, you know, feeling really settled, feeling at one. And yes, there was some attraction with someone. I'm seeing you had an attraction with someone. They had an attraction with you at some time, but now you've settled into a friendship. And they might be helping you. They might be helping you in return for something you did for them, or it could be the other way around. But I am seeing people helping people and balancing out the help. That's what I'm seeing. So the last card you have your present is, yes, the Ten of Swords, yes. Um, someone hurt you. Someone hurt you quite badly, actually. Um, and what I'm seeing is someone someone promised you something something was promised you and then um it was taken away someone was telling you something making you believe something was going to happen and then they did a complete turnaround that's what i'm seeing and you felt that you know your direction the direction your life was going in depended on what would happen with this promise because it was like this person was promising oh we're going to do this we're going to do here there's a great future this and this and you're believing them and then suddenly they changed and your whole life had to change because of that. That's what I'm seeing. And, but I'm also seeing you still have hope. Um, I know this sounds like I'm putting a good spin on things and I'm making things sound nice to be your best friend or something. I'm not doing that. Uh, it's because I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing a sunrise in this card. If you can see this card, I don't know if you can see the whole thing on camera, but yes, you can see the sunrise. There's a sunrise coming up behind this poor person who's been stabbed. Um, Yes, there's a sunrise. There are better things out there for you. Even though you had this missed opportunity, there are much better things out there for you. And this, and definitely better things than you ever thought possible. Better than this opportunity that you missed out on. Way, way better. That's what I'm seeing. That's the sunrise. So, the first card you have for your future is, um, yes, the Wheel of Fortune. So, um, yes, the Wheel of Fortune. Here it is, the Wheel of Fortune. You're going to be able to do things that you never thought you were going to be able to do. And if you had have followed this way, if this person promised you this thing and you did it, that would not have been a go as good as what's happening or what's going to happen um, with the Wheel of Fortune. There's something, there's something you really wanted to do for a long, long time and you shelved the possibility of doing this thing. This is a long time ago. But you always had in your back of your head, it was like you had, hmm, maybe I could still do that one day. I'd really love to do that one day. I don't know if it's a possibility, but... I might be able to do that one day. And you can. You can do this thing at this time. You can do this. That's what I'm seeing. 
It might not turn out to be exactly the way you imagined, but this is really good because you know, you've changed as well. You've changed as a person since you were thinking about doing this thing. So this will come out in a new form. I hope this makes sense. It's like it's, it's, like it's organic. It's grown into something else now. It's the same basic thing, but it's changed a bit. That's what I'm seeing. And you know, this will come, this will come in a form that, that really, um, it matches the new you actually because you've changed them at this thing now matches the you that you're going to be at this time. And it's perfect timing, it's perfect timing. You show off this practical idea or this idea for some reason and um, maybe logistically you couldn't do it because I'm seeing practicality stopped you, other things got in the way at the time or you just thought, no, this is too hard. Um, but yes, this is time, this is the time. You've waited long enough for this, you really have. And you know, you can do this. This will be way, way better way better than whatever was promised to you. You have the sunrise and the wheel of fortune, fantastic. The next card you have in your future is, yes, the moon. Um, so you're still going to be through, going to, through this process of renewal after the shock, even though great things are coming to you. Um, you're still going through this process of, because it's the person, you, you wonder why this person changed and why they changed what they were saying. You do have better things on the horizon and I think you are seeing them at this time, but you're still a little bit up and down because of this person. You are hurt by the person that um, made this promise and then changed their mind as well. And you know, this is, you still have this up and down feeling you might even be losing sleep sometimes. Um, there's an up and down energy around you and, or there will be at this time. and. Um, yeah, sometimes you'll be optimistic, sometimes you won't. This is just the up and down going on. And you know, your intuition will be a lot sharper though at this time. And you know, you have some insights coming to you about this thing you want to achieve as well. So you have a lot of these new insights coming with you. And this is down to this intuition coming along in the moon. Um, I'm seeing something also very strange. I hope, I'm just going to say what I see, okay? This, this is going to make me sound bizarre and strange and weird. Um, I'm just seeing the number 21, number 21. I don't know if this means anything to you. I don't know. I don't want you to go and put all your money on a horse that's number 21 or anything like that. But I am seeing number 21. That's what I'm seeing. I don't know what that means to you. I just had to tell you that that's what I'm seeing. Um, yes, the last card you have in your future is the page of pentacles. Um, I'm seeing that, um, Yes, you'll be able to do this thing, definitely. You'll be able to take up this opportunity that's in this Wheel of Fortune. Absolutely, you will. Um, you're going to have to learn things as well to enable you to do this, whatever this is. Um, you could be taking up some kind of formal studies or something like that. And I'm seeing, you know, if you do this, you'll find people who really, really, truly understand you. And they'll understand you a lot more than the people who are already around you. You have some some people that misunderstand you, don't quite get you around you. And if you do this study or you do this opportunity or whatever that's around it, you will have people who truly, truly get you and understand you. And yes, you might have to travel as well. You might even have to travel with this opportunity. Um, yeah, I'm seeing you in a busy place actually. Um, and you're going to feel really exhilarated by the busyness of this. Um, and I'm really, I'm really happy for you actually. That's really really good. Um, so Aries, I hope this resonated. Um, this is a general reading. It won't always resonate with every single person in the universe. But again, if you like this reading, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. And thank you so, so much for watching.